guys, this is Steven Chavez of FlippingHouston.net, and today we're going to talk about real estate photography and staging 101. So this is going to be helpful to sell your home quicker in Houston. So great real estate photography and beautiful home staging can make a huge difference in the price you are offered and the time frame that you close in. So putting in that extra effort with incredible photography and a professionally staged space will typically pay for itself and then some. So before the photos are taken and the house is shown, your best bet is to call a professional. Now for the maximum benefits of staging and photography, you'll wanna hire someone that's a pro at this. Now this will most likely be two different people, but here in Houston there are some companies that do it all. So a photographer might not be great at accessorizing or furniture placement, whereas a professional stager might not know how to utilize the light or take photos to maximize the room space. So it's a combination of these two professionals that will actually bring you and your property the visual draw that you want and your house deserves. So as they say, a picture is worth a thousand words, right? So great photography is paramount when listing your house on the MLS and other platforms. We've all seen these photos, right? Yeah, these are my favorite. Um, they look like they've been taken on a Motorola Razor. Some agents do have a good eye, however, nothing really can compete with hiring a pro, like I said. Um, they're going to have all the best types of tips and tricks and all the tools that are actually needed versus just your iPhone. Like, that is a great option, but honestly, you want to go ahead and work with a pro. They are going to have tripods, wide-angle lenses to maximize the space on your property, and natural lighting. So these are just a few of the must-haves. Hiring a professional will easily pay for itself. Now keep in mind, a photographer is not a stager. Again, they're not there to clean up or position items throughout your home. They're actually there to just capture the best photos of what your home is. The next part of this is, let's get it magazine pretty. How do you get it magazine pretty? You use a professional stager. Professional staging is still largely seen as kind of a boutique service or something that's only used with homes that are over 400,000, but the fact is staging has a huge impact on your ability to successfully sell your home. People largely buy based on emotion. You'll want to create a neutral environment yet still allow the viewer to feel as if they're in their own home. So some stagers will refurnish and decorate a whole house, however it's much more common to just focus on a couple rooms. And depending on what you already have, a stager can bring in many pieces or simply replace or maybe even repurpose items you already have to be more aesthetically pleasing. So the ultimate goal of staging, of course, is to maximize the perceived value of the home. And now I'm going to give you four tips on how to do that by yourself. The first step, declutter. Don't take any photos or show your house to new buyer until all of the clutter has been removed. Buyers don't want to see your personal possessions or photos while touring your house. It can make people feel intrusive and subconsciously make them want to leave. This isn't how you want them to feel, I promise you. Tip number two, say goodbye to all the personal items. Well, for a little while anyway, putting away things like photos, dad of the year awards, bills, degrees, diplomas, as well as religious and political items will make people feel more comfortable. Your goal is to make people feel as if they could live there. They need to be able to easily imagine themselves in the space, and that can prove difficult when looking at a wall of your family photos or maybe your creepy doll collection. In addition, packing up necessary items and personal effects will help when the moving day arrives because you'll already be a step ahead. Tip number three, don't neglect the outside areas. This is one of the most common things I see where someone fixes up the inside of their home and leaves the outside looking terrible. And especially in photos, I mean, that's a no brainer for me. I'm instantly gonna go to the next house. So for both photography and viewing purposes, you wanna spend some time fixing up the outside of your home. Don't leave your cars in the driveway. Instead, park them down the street while you're taking your photos. This will allow the focus to be on your home. And in the photos will make people feel like they're pulling into their own driveway as opposed to someone else's. You should also put away all personal items and kids stuff. They say people decide if buying is a possibility in only a matter of seconds. This is why it pays to clean up the front yard. Plant a few flowers and refresh the front porch. The backyard should also be clear of clutter with a warm and inviting feel. People should want to spend their time there. And finally, tip number four, keep it tidy. No, like really tidy. 
you never really know how other people live. So keeping food out on the counter, the lid up on the toilet, or having cables running across your walls can be huge eyesores to certain people. Think about how you would expect a hotel or an Airbnb to look upon arrival and strive for that. So are you ready to sell your home in Houston? Because we're ready to help. Send us a message or give us a call anytime. We can't wait to hear from you. You can give us a call at 832-736-1867 or visit us at flippinghouston.net. Thank you for your time and have a great day.